Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Welcome to Khalil For Real Part 2 of So You Wanna Be a Nasheed Artist Last time we talked about the intention We talked about the focus We talked about the ego and We talked about the trap of falling into the hype That you're wonderful because you're singing on stage That you're wonderful because you're doing these things You're only wonderful in as much as you are a vehicle for the message of Islam That is the most important thing That you're a messenger, you are a da'i Anything else after that comes second. Next, we want to talk about uh, more practical things. Okay, let's say you've searched yourself, you've, you've decided that, yeah, I'm the person that I'm not, you know, checking one's ego is an ongoing daily exercise. But you feel that you've come to a point where, yeah, I, I think I've pretty much got it into perspective, and now I want to get on to the task at hand. What do I need to do? Now, the Nasheed industry for us is very much in its infancy. We don't have a huge history or a huge cultural melting pot where we can draw examples from and say, you know, I'm doing it in the style of that Nasheed guy who lived in California. Or, you know, we don't have, we can't draw from that. Most of us are kind of just doing it from what we knew in the uh, in mainstream. And we're trying to use that knowledge or that experience or the, the examples of mainstream people, we're trying to tailor make it for an Islamic message. So we don't really have a lot of examples to draw from in terms of a Western uh, interpretation, a musical interpretation of music and singing and all the rest of it. So what do we do? How do we go about it? Because, you know, I, before I was Muslim, before I sang, you know, I sang with some quite well-known musicians and artists. And that insight gave me so much knowledge as to how to put together songs, harmonies, song structure, you know, layering harmonies, all types of things, you know, stuff that you just don't learn every day. And unless you come across musicians and you sit with them on a regular basis, you won't know these things. So really, my position on that is that if you are serious about it, the first point is the song. You know, my producer, the brother who helped me with uh, Heaven, he said it all begins with a song. You know, you have to have something you want to say. You have to have a message, either a same, the same message or a different message. Or if it's the same message, you're going to put a new spin on it. Or you may want to do a traditional thing and redo it. You may want to do our Tala al Badrulena again and make it sound traditional. Or you might do like what I wanted to do with Tala al Badrulena is to give it a new spin and kind of give it a modern, semi modern feel with overtones of some kind of Eastern drums and stuff, with, but with Western harmonies and Western structures. So you may want to do that. So the song, it begins with a song. A song can come from a poem. It can come from something you've written originally. It could be something that you're inspired by, something you've seen, something you've heard, something you just want to get down on paper, and then you feel that you want to put that into some kind of a song. Uh, you want to put it together in something that is going to be easy to listen to. So that's a good thing to do. So you should really, you know, one way of doing it is analyzing songs that you already like and see what is in that song. What is it that you like about that song? Also, because there isn't a huge history of uh, cultural history of music in the West, Nasheeds in the West, you know, these, uh, some of the considerations which are basic to any music art form is things like tone, pitching, you know, singing on key, singing in time, you know, and understanding what harmonies are. These are very important things and we're going to talk about that in a short while when we have a short break now and inshallah we'll see you on the other side. Salaam Stop in the name of the Sharia law! Welcome, welcome back. So, practicalities. Getting involved, actually getting into the nitty gritty. Talked about songs a little bit. Now we're going to talk about singing on key, singing in key, singing in pitch, harmonizing, what are these things? Now, there is a huge controversy over music. I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> we could talk about that on the next blog, inshallah. But <clears throat> all I'm going to say at this point is that you need to make sure that you're singing on key. You can't always sing it along with a, a record that you have on your CD and think that you're singing in key. You have to now begin to separate your own singing ability from what you hear on any given CD that you like, whether you listen to 
to, to Black Stripes or you're listening to the Kooks or you're listening to Michael Jackson or you're listening to Sammy Youssef or 786, you have to stop singing that stuff and just thinking that you're doing a good job. You have to now begin to sing on your own. And one of the ways to help you stay in key and on pitch is that you need to buy a keyboard. You need to buy a, a Casio or a Yamaha. I'm not selling these guys, I'm not advertising them, but I'm just saying you need to get yourself a keyboard and start playing on the keys. Sing in the notes that you're playing, A, B, C, sing along with it and record yourself so you can hear how you sound. Nobody ever likes to hear the sound of their own voice once they hear it recording. And that's something you're gonna have to get over. If you're serious about singing, in a recording studio, singing, singing on stage, which are part and parcel of what we do. Singing live is, 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 is very important, so you have to be able to do that. So you have to be able to sing, um, sing properly. The next step, after you've got a keyboard and you're playing notes and you're singing along to the notes, you must, you must, you must get a singing teacher. It's basic. I know so many Nishida artists that haven't bothered to do that. Like me, <laughs> I'm so lazy, I haven't even had a chance to get a singing teacher. I used to have a singing teacher years ago. Um, but I haven't been, and I've been promising myself, and I'm saying to you know everybody, I'm going to go and get singing lessons. I'm going to do this, but I'm so lazy, I haven't done it. But we need to take this thing seriously, especially if you want to make a long-term career out of it, and you want to do the best job that you can. If you really want to convey the message of Islam and the, the message of Allah, you know we should do it in the best way, and that means training our voices. Some Nishid artists that I've met, or potential Nishid artists, are singing in the wrong way. Singing through their nose, not using the diaphragm. And they're damaging their voices. So by the end of 5-10 minutes, they've gone hoarse. Um, there are many techniques that we can take advantage of. And I really advise anybody who's remotely interested in this industry, they have to go through the steps. They have to do these things. They have to you know, make sure they're singing uh, in the right pitch. They have to get a singing teacher. They have to begin to think about songs. Of course you can, you know, you can sing other people's songs. But in terms of being able to express yourself, you know, being able to, 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 to be that, that vehicle again, as I keep saying, the vehicle of transmitting that message, you know, you have to make yourself the best vehicle that you can. And this is something that um, um, many people, because again, a lot of it stems from the fact that we don't have a cultural background that is telling us, that is showing us what we should do or what people did before and we can learn from those lessons. We don't see that. Some of us see the mainstream as something totally different and we shouldn't use what they've been through as a lesson. For good or bad, that's the reality of what people think. And uh, I, I don't agree with that at all. Music is music, good stuff is good stuff, it doesn't matter who's doing it. Even if the message is wrong in terms of the way things are put together, it, it, there's a particular standard that they've um, reached that we have to try and reach and surpass as well. And that means going through the steps. We can't jump ahead, we can't cheat, we can't get there without doing the hard work and the hard graft. And I can tell you some of this, when I started singing, you know, uh, the guy that was with me, he played the, the guitar and I was singing some dead notes, some notes that don't exist. I was singing those notes and he went over and over with the, the guitar, singing the same notes for like two or three hours, just singing notes. Never mind the song, never mind the harmonies, never mind anything around it. Just singing notes for three hours straight. And that was my introduction into music. And I'm thinking, why are we doing all this? I, don't, I want to sing some songs. Why you keep talking about, you know, notes and stuff. But now, years and years later, I appreciate what exactly he's talking about. Laying the foundation for a career, laying the foundation for the basics. Because that's the foundation for the basics. Because some of us were so far behind that we have to get to a basic stage, then we can move on to the basics. And the basics are really then talking about the nitty gritty of the deceit industry. Well, that's pretty much it. You know, there's so much more I could say, there's so much more I could go into. Um, because this industry is vast, it's growing, I'm really glad to see that and I'm very pleased to be a part of it. Um, so I hope that I've given a little bit of insight inshallah to what we do uh, behind the scenes and maybe the next time I go somewhere you won't be asking me these questions Khalil I don't become a new sheet artist, just refer to this, <laughs> this blog and you'll be able to see the answers inshallah. Um, again if there's anything I've said wrong or any questions or any queries please 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 don't hesitate to email me at khalilforreal at hotmail.co.uk and I look forward to seeing you guys again soon, inshallah. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.